We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. So we told you guys in the last couple of videos that we were having a little bit of trouble finding ourselves a moving truck that had a lift gate attached to it. It was around the holidays, a lot of other companies were running these trucks out to do their deliveries to get there by Christmas, so we had a very hard time finding one to rent for ourselves. We needed a lift gate because all of our tools are very heavy and they're also very wide. We looked into finding a truck with a ramp, but when we started to measure all of them out, they were way too narrow to wheel a couple of our tools up the ramp and into the truck. One morning I woke up and I was determined. By the end of that morning, I would have rented us a truck. It was my goal in life. So I made a list of all the rental companies and I called them one by one all the way down the list until finally I found one company that had a truck. And let me tell you, it was quite the truck. Truck. On this episode of Jenny and Davis doing things they have no idea how to do. Great job! trucks available with a lift gate for rent around Christmas right now with it being the holidays and there's a shortage of trucks and so the only one we could find was a 26 foot long truck that had a lift gate and this thing is massive it's my childhood dream come true at least somebody's having fun driving his big truck we're going to straight to I-10 <laughs> was a 26 foot long box truck with a lift gate in the back. And this wasn't just like your moving truck. I'm sure you've seen U-Haul trucks driving all over the place of like the nice small sized one. No, this was like one step down from a semi truck. The driver's seat in this thing was the same seat as a bus driver's seat with the springs that bounce up and down. It was massive. And I can't believe that we were just able to rent that thing. It took like 10 minutes. They just handed us the keys. There's no driving test. There was no training. We didn't even have to watch a safety video. Just rented it and drove it off the lot. The next morning. Alright, 
so it's been a little minute since we've talked to you with an update. So uh, we'll show you everything we got set up. We got our new lumber rack. This thing is massive. I don't remember the weight capacity of each of these shelves, but it's way more wood than we can stuff. We're gonna run out of room before we're gonna hit the weight capacity of the shelves, which is awesome. And these stands, you can expand them. I can make it go deeper. We can get two or three of these, daisy chain them together, and this whole entryway can be stuffed full of wood. So really excited for that. We've moved the miter saw onto this wall, just cause, I don't know, obviously we're gonna be moving stuff around, but just I'm trying to think through a workflow of, of doing a batch of charcuterie boards or cutting boards. And I just think the miter, miter saw belongs there instead. We'll see, I, I feel a need to fill the space when I don't think I need to. I'm, I'm spreading the machines out just because I have the space, but I think that that might not be the best way forward. And I understand that like, you wanna limit travel distance and stuff like that. So we're, we're there's a lot of variables to, to consider, but, um, and it's just gonna take us a few times of trying it to, to figure out the best way. So amidst all the chaos of unpacking and moving the truck and driving on I-10 during rush hour, we noticed that our YouTube channel was exploding. Remember a while ago we had a Maker's Money video about uh, the new pricing formula? I'm sure you've seen it now. But that video totally flopped when we first put it out. But out of nowhere, it just started blowing up again. And it was so hard to stay focused on unpacking when the YouTube channel was doing really well because, I don't know if you've noticed, we've been really close to 100,000 subscribers for kind of a while. So we were scared and nervous and excited and moving into this big space and it was just the last piece of reassurance that we needed to know that we were doing the right thing. That even though it was risky and scary, that we were making the right moves for the channel, for our businesses. But we really couldn't spend any time celebrating because we were so busy unpacking. Jenny's dad had to fly out pretty soon. Our friends were only gonna help for a day or so before they had to go back to work. But once we got everything moved over and Jenny and I were here on a Sunday afternoon just unpacking and getting the computer set up, that we remembered that the channel was blowing up. So we opened it up and we realized we were so close to hitting 100,000. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're one away, one away. One away, turn the light on. We were busy cutting wood, of all things. We're almost there. Get on the other side. What, my J's on that side. Any moment now. <laughs> At least I wore a Bucky shirt. One of us was prepared for oh, this moment. I just know it's gonna happen any second. I wanna hit refresh, but I also don't want it to, I don't wanna miss it. It's been refreshing itself. The suspense is killing me. <gasps> we just did it! A ah! hundred thousand! A hundred thousand! <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Happy 100,000. Happy 100,000. And one! <laughs> and one! We got another one! <laughs> Woohoo! <sighs> Thank you, guys. This yes. is huge. This is not us, this is you. So. We have loved hanging out with you guys for the last, what, three and a half years now? Yeah. It's been a blast. So it was a long week, to say the least. It was just a very emotional and tiring week. After three and a half years of working at him every single day, a lot of our goals are all coming to fruition at the same time, and we are beyond grateful. This has been kind of a scary journey, from quitting our full-time jobs, to moving to part-time jobs, to moving to a city where we knew not a single soul, and starting our business all over again. But it's just been a lot of putting one foot in front of the other and doing what we knew we had to do to get us to this point. Even if we couldn't see what it was gonna look like on the other side. But man, does it look great now. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the Thanks so much for watching and click here if you want to see a full tour of this brand new space. It's going to take us a while to get everything unpacked and moved, but you can get a good idea of what the whole area looks like. 